Hiya! Hello, everybody. <laughs> How's it going, independent creators? So, guess what I've got here? I give you no, no. Well, you, you can see it's, it's all it's evident, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, this is how the interviews go. Freestyle. I have all loads of questions, and then I never ask any of the questions. So, all right, and Rachel, thank you so much. You're so welcome. I know. Anna. I know. It's kind of like celebs feel. We're here in the hotel. We're like we were on Jonathan Ross. I know. Before, well, we were on Jonathan Ross, weren't we? We were. We yeah, were. we we nabbed the 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 yellow velvet sofa. Did, I don't know if you caught any of those celebrity photos of us two. Um, when we did Jonathan Ross, yeah, we were the, we were the stars of the shows in our own minds, anyway. In our own minds, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Rachel, thank you so much because I know that you're really busy. <laughs> see, I'm going into interview mode now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how long that lasts. I know you're really busy doing uh, doing Snow White. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. There we are. You see, I knew it was a pantomime. Same thing. They fall asleep. They get kissed. They wake up. Same. Same. How thing. are you finding it? I'm finding it. It's really fun. Um, I always get quite nervous because it's a lot of work and a lot of, you know, in a short period of time. And I'm not used to it at the minute because we have work, you know, scattered everywhere. So you have like a few days work, then you have a few weeks off, then you have a few days work. Whereas this is like 47 shows in like four weeks. So it's pretty. Oh, that's a lot of shows. Yeah, it's, it's pretty intense. But I mean, it's it's fun. It's It's good crack. Mm, and that's in is that in Derry? That's in Derry, yeah. Mm. And are those um pantomimes that you've done every year? Have you been how long have you been doing? Um, I always did pantomimes when I was younger, when I grew up. So I, I did drama and stuff like that. And then um You did that at school? At school and, and as a child, you know, drama clubs and, and local community pantomimes and stuff like that. And then this pantomime's the only like professional pantomime in Dairy, so that it would it would be like the biggest one it's in belfast so um this is my second time doing this one um because you have to be like 16 and above so yeah it is it's it's fun and like everyone you you know everyone from when you're younger and um and you're at home for christmas so it's it's it must be so much fun but a lot 47 shows yeah. sounds kind of spoiled i've thought like duran did a lot when we go away but i know but obviously musicals i've got friends that have done musical theater and of course i yeah. ages ago i did river dance oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah and that's how there was a connection there wasn't there because because yeah. um, we had a, a tour manager in common that used to work yeah. on um well he was working on river dance uh, many moons ago and then uh but he also uh was he production the production guy for lord, lord of the dance. dance yeah i think it was production and yeah because you did that how long was that for so i did lord of the dance for five years um when you were like seven had... i was 17 when i first joined and then so we started in the london play day and so that was my first ever job i was like oh my god this that was is... your first gig yeah i'd never done anything before oh my and what I a remember, way to start I, right i remember i was bawling crying so i'm i get really nervous oh I'm not, well that's fair enough <laughs> if it's your first gig <laughs> like maybe saying right going from school to to wembley stadium no but i i'm a very nervous person especially um like going on stage i don't know why like i love it but i get so nervous oh, it's not i just remember with, uh, i was crying so much oh. i was like oh my god i can't do it but um yeah and so i started there and then i toured with them for five years kind of like on and off of it but how was it it was great i mean i wish i'd seen it. it it's a good show if they're touring again next year they're doing a new show forgetting um, to look in the camera we're i going... know i don't know <laughs> No, I'm mean, like we're working together. I'm getting all polite because we're doing an interview. <laughs> you know? I'm polite? I don't know you. No idea. And also, I never know. Yeah, well, we'll look a bit. Yeah, yes, yeah, a little bit here. Um, what was the question? I can't remember. I'm just getting into that. Well, London Palladium and what was it like? And yeah, you were saying you're really nervous before you went on, yeah, on stage. Yeah, I was really nervous. But I did it for five years. It was great fun. Um, it's a lot of, you know, there's 25 dancers and everyone's under 30 so it was just like everyone did the show went out partied sightseeing took instagram like photos fantastic. oh it was great <laughs> it was it great must have been fantastic it was, and i had it easy because there wasn't a lot of singing in it i only had three songs right 
dance. Yeah. Like I, had I had it even I, easier yeah. when I did river dance. You know, true Irish Irish person, as you can see. <laughs> they, I, I don't know. Well, it was there was like a migration scene, so that's how that's how come I was. Doing oh really? It. I didn't. Yeah, know. yeah. I did it for about six months. Um, yeah, but I I can remember. I just I can remember the the whole kind of matinee evening performance matinee evening performance and it was a lot of fun and it must have been lovely because they were all from were they all from De no all from all over Ireland was it all, all um, over the place it's maybe? all over the world like American English Irish um, oh, okay. Hungarian of course because Irish dancing is so popular yeah, all over yeah. the world so what they'd audition people from so it's quite a multinational all over the world, yeah. oh right yeah. okay. Yeah, and then you went all over the world. You've seen the Great Wall of China and yeah, all of... Yeah, we did China, Australia, Singapore. It was fun and it was my first, like I said, my first gig. So it was a great way to ease me into the tour. And like, I love you know. that you think that's easing you in. That is so in at the deep end. <laughs> but like, you know, now I feel like I'm ready. I can, I can do anything. I can do anything, guys. I can do anything. Well... I think you're well, especially with touring. If you've done that, it's great. Yeah, it's yeah, no, fabulous it is, training. Um, it's training. I, I looked at it like training. Yeah, and a lot of a lot of fun as well. So yeah, not just. Oh gosh, yeah. So yeah. much fun. So you have some good nights out. Great nights out. I have made some, you know, some of my best friends are in the show. Um, and we all keep in contact. Like one of us, I'm from Ireland. I'm from Northern Ireland. My other friends from Southern Ireland. One's from America. One's from England. And we're all in this group chat. So we're all like. You know, time zones aren't always, especially with Joe. He's in America, but I okay, know it's great. It was, it was great fun. But this get like I, I'm loving Duran. Yeah, of course, Duran, because yeah. we're doing radio two in a minute. Probably can keep the car waiting, and um, hopefully we we won't be keeping the um anybody else waiting. Uh, we maybe go over like a couple of minutes, but sort definitely wanna wanna um take advantage while while Rachel's here, so that we could get a bit of an interview in yeah. for um for the group. And, and and I just love how you, well I love how you're still in your twenties and yet what you've done is incredible. Obviously, you're doing Duran now and then you did uh, Lord of the Dance, but that wasn't. How did you? Yeah, say talk about how you actually got into because and well, obviously acting for a long time and then singing and then how did you actually? Well, I know there's something else, but so so uh, when I was sixteen, so grew up singing and dancing and acting whatever. Um, nothing professional or anything like that don't have a show busy family no, we, like, no one knows anything about the industry in my family all right um, and so then, you weren't kind of doing a, no, I don't know, no. like a pageant queen no no it wasn't like that at all I mean I would have maybe stood at the side of the stage maybe I was a tree in some place you know like it wasn't a big wasn't a big thing and then um when I was 15 the voice the voice UK came to my school um I, I didn't know they even did that. Yeah, so they, they scout round in like open mics and different bars and schools, whatever. So I was doing my GCSEs and my teacher, I just finished a biology exam. <laughs> and my teacher said, the voice are coming in, I want you to sing. And I was like, oh, I don't want to be on TV. <laughs> um, I was terrified. Oh, and, um, oh it was, was that? Because yeah, obviously you've been I was singing. Terrified. Oh, it can and, be. Um, you can get the nerves, yeah. even if you're, you know, such a talented I just, performer I had as you it are. In my head, everyone was going to laugh at me from oh, my hometown. I had that home, oh. small town mentality. I've, I've that, heard the um, same with people that are often, you know, yeah. performers can be shut. Even though it's in our blood, it's what we do. It can actually, yeah. when it comes to it, and certainly being put on the spot, yeah, it can so, actually be like, that's the last thing I, I want to do. You kind of just count the fact all those years you've been. I know. Well, Same anyway, time. he was yeah. like, "Oh, you might not even get in TV. Just sing and you know, make the school look good, basically." So I was like, "Okay, happy days. I'll do that." Mm. And then I just randomly got an email, and I kept getting through. Like, I, I went for another edition, and how could just, that have just, happened? No, it could it all, be anything to do with the fact you've got a fantastic voice. I don't know. No, but it just all kind of happened. It was so random, and I remember me and my family were like what is going on like because I was on I wasn't even 16 and then because I was under 16 oh your phone's a little power mode oh um, I hope it stays on we've got low does, power it, it might um, um, automatically bring us to the end of the interview but hope not. because I was 16 then my dad had to come to all the different auditions with me because I knew the chaperone so that was fine me and him were going about London we hadn't really done it before he went to Covent Garden while I was uh, like. Oh, okay, so he just he yeah. saw the signs. So was he like, was "You'll be fine." <laughs> yeah. So 
<laughs> he wasn't allowed in, so I did my thing, Gone and he gang. was away having lunch in Covent Garden. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm glad he had a nice time. <laughs> so that was that, and then it just kind of, I just kept get going th going through the next round, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Of course you did. And then um, I was mentored by Kylie Minogue. Um, oh my, did you hear that? Did you say that? So who were you, who were you meant to be? Kathy, Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue! <laughs> Got another singer, famous singer alert. Kylie Minogue, we actually, yeah, we, we were rehearsing the other day and she popped in. She, she was in the yeah. room, so I was like, oh, yeah. How, that must have been fantastic. That was fun. It was, it was really good. Um, I find, I wish I was a bit older for that experience because it was a lot. That was my first time ever, ever, ever doing anything in the industry at all um and it was a lot and i put a lot of pressure on myself and i was only young and i was very naive and i didn't i wish i was able to make more decisions on my own whereas i would have you know listened to whatever the tv team had told me and i was like oh yeah that's great we'll do that whereas now i'm like oh i really hated that song kind of thing oh okay hopefully like, you liked wise. some of some of them yeah some of them were nice like my audition song but then what towards the it? end it was clown by emily sandwich oh that's a lovely yeah, song yeah it's, it's a lovely song but then by the end they were trying to look it up on youtube if it's on it, i felt like they were trying to portray me into this sweet 16 bubblegum pop Oh, okay. Roll, right. You know okay. I mean? Right. So um, oh, that was fine. Whatever. And then I came out of the voice, and Kylie, very kindly, um, put me in touch with her management company. So they contacted me, and I didn't know that they managed Kylie at this point. Um, and me and my dad flew over and met them, and the next thing Kylie came in oh. to the meeting, and we were like. How was it? And what it was she, great. What yeah, she, like? she she wasn't really involved in the managing okay. of me, but she was just in the office at the time and just like, hi, just saying hello. And I've then she brought her. me upstairs yeah. and like showed me all her costumes, so like all her story. Oh, her, yeah, her live oh, performance is supposed wow. to be great. So she showed yeah. me all the costumes oh. and the hot pants. And, <gasps> yeah, it was so cool, so cool. That must have been amazing. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how it all started. Why well, you've um, had all started and you haven't actually stopped haven't stopped working since then, have you? So many <laughs> things. And so the, which, what do you say? So it's, is it Sleeping Beauty or Snow White? So I did Snow White two years ago and now oh, we're right, okay. Sleeping Beauty. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so, and that's until January the 2nd? That's until January the 2nd, yeah. And hopefully there'll be lots more. But you write as well, right? Yeah, so actually I had a meeting yesterday. Um, I'm hoping to release my own stuff in February, end of oh, February, March. That's exciting. Yeah, so we're I'm working on my solo project at the minute, um, which is exciting, but I find very daunting because there's so many different decisions, like even small decisions like logo, what logo, what font, what, you know, album cover. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm awful at making decisions when I have too much choice. So I kind of then just sit there and I'm like, oh, I don't know, someone else made the decision. <laughs> but um, no, we have Is that with the same team or is that? Just... So it was uh, the Swedish guys. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. I spoke to you about. So yeah. um, I'm hopefully, fingers crossed, COVID stays away. I'm going over on the 17th of January for a week. Yeah. And um, I think I have my single and then a few other follow ups, but I'd like to write. I haven't wrote in a very long time with them. Um, so I would like to write for a week and then see if we get anything better and then and have it released. Hopefully I, I want to release Valentine's Day, but I don't know if it's possible. Oh, I'm really, I'm really so curious to obviously <laughs> yeah. can't really tell us much about the songs yet, I, can you? Because they're not, we haven't released them. Well, I don't really mind. I mean, I, I love pop. So like Dua Lipa, Mimi Webb. Um, I love Tovalo, which Duran actually have a song with. So that's really cool. Yeah. Um, so that kind of vibe and, and you know, it's, um, like upbeat and I have a few ballad songs. Oh, can't wait. Yeah, to no, it hear is it. it is good. I'm quite excited. Um I think though I I've, I've had these songs for years and years. Like I've had some of these songs for six years. Okay. And I think now it's got to the point where like every like I, I've always wanted to release them but I always had like spoke to people and they said just you know have 
you're not ready yet blah 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 and then I kept saying oh it's not ready the music's not ready I'm not ready and now I'm like do you know what let's get on let's, with it like just release it like I don't it doesn't have to go viral you know you just put music out there and just get your name out there so that's what I'm doing next year oh that's yeah. oh we, I cannot wait I can't wait I didn't realize that was happening yeah, yeah. I, I haven't really said anything but, right yeah. oh that's really exciting so look forward to hearing that and yeah these days you can release well, you always could release like track after track, but yeah. we can th we can get into this idea that you've got to have a whole album ready, yeah. and actually you can kind of yeah. you can well, create it as you go along, and do. yeah, because you've got that fabulous, you know, your your Instagram, you're all you you a big hit on Instagram and 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 Tic Tac. <laughs> that's how that's how big I am on TikTok. I, I call it Tic Tac. <laughs> Tic yeah, but you're in, you really know what you're doing with all that as well. It's, so it yeah, is fun. It is yeah. Fun. So, um, cause you're, you're an influencer, right? Oh, <laughs> so much going on. So what would so you say to people on. that are that into singing and that they, uh, if you had some kind of tips for what you, how would you go about doing stuff? What would you think is important these days um, before our taxi comes? I we're think, go in a second. I do think social media, is, well, social media is everything. Social media controls the world at the minute, which is, is very so sad, but um can be a lot of fun it's no it's so fun it really uh -huh. is fun because you're really into it aren't you yeah. yeah and there was a time though um i did have to step back from it because i was taking it too serious right do you know what i mean so i've i've <laughs> now let, like like let's seriously. let's just not take it that seriously like, just post what you want to post um and just be yourself yeah like there's no point in pretending to be someone else on Instagram because then someone might meet you in real life or go to your show and, and they're like, you're a completely different person. And on that note, we've got to go and do the show. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Bye. And we will see you again.